The anime opens with Kiyotaka Ayana Koji, the main protagonist, enrolling in Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing High School. This prestigious institution, established by the Japanese government, aims to cultivate talented individuals who will contribute to the country's future. Despite its reputation, the school remains shrouded in mystery, with limited information available to the public. Upon arriving at the school, Kiyotaka encounters a fellow student, a girl who was on the same bus. They both find themselves in Class 1D, where a student named Yosuke initiates introductions in the absence of their teacher. Shortly after, their homeroom teacher, Sei Chabashira, enters and distributes a rule book to the students. She explains that they will be residing in on-campus dormitories and will have restricted access to the outside world, as the school aims to provide everything they need within its premises. Say introduces the class to the point system, wherein each student starts with 100,000 points. These points serve as currency within the school, and their allocation is based on individual merits. While running errands, Kiyotaka coincidentally encounters the same girl, who hesitantly reveals her name as Suzun Horikita. Despite other students forming groups, both Suzun and Kiyotaka remain isolated. Kiyokushida approaches Kiyotaka, seeking his assistance in befriending Suzun. He tries to fulfill Kyo's request by inviting Suzun to a cafe, but she quickly deduces their plan and leaves. Most of the students in Class 1D spend their points frivolously, even during class time. However, everything changes on May 1st when the students do not receive any points due to their poor performance. The teacher introduces the S system, which ranks the first year classes from A to D based on points. With Class D already at the bottom, they face the risk of expulsion if they fail another examination. During lunchtime, Suzun treats Sayana Koji to an extravagant meal and reveals that three students with the lowest grades have refused to join the study group. She leverages the expensive meal as a means to coerce Sayana Koji into rounding up these students and bringing them to her study group. Ayana Koji attempts to persuade Kensudo, Konji Ike, and Haruki Yamauchi to join the study group, but they dismiss him without listening. Determined, he devises a plan to enlist Kyo as a mediator. Kyo agrees to help under the condition that she can join the study group herself. The plan succeeds, but Suzun vehemently opposes Kyo's participation without providing any explanation. During the first group session, the three students leave when Sudo refuses to listen to Suzun preferring basketball over studying. Kyo vows to handle the situation on Suzun's behalf but ends up hurt by Suzun's actions instead. One night, while Ayana Koji is out, he overhears a heated argument between Suzun and her brother, Manabu, who is the student council president. Ayana Koji intervenes before the situation escalates into violence as Manabu was about to assault his own sister. Manabu initially challenges Ayana Koji to a fight, but becomes astonished by his unexpected skills. Eventually, Manabu realizes that Ayana Koji is the student who consistently scores exactly 50% on all tests, including the entry exams. Ayana Koji and Suzun engage in a conversation about the study group, with Suzun adamant about disbanding it. However, Ayana Koji does his best to change her mind until the end. To their surprise, Class D performs exceptionally well, surpassing the scores of some other first-year classes. Three days prior to the test, Ayana Koji witnesses Sudo being harassed by students from Class C. Before the situation escalates, a student named Honami Aikinos intervenes, warning them about potential consequences if they report the incident to the school administrators. Ayana Koji attempts to persuade Sudo to join the study group, but Sudo remains resistant. Later that afternoon, Suzun provides Sudo with a notebook containing summarized topics from their classes and advises him to study so he can continue playing basketball at school. The following day, Ayana Koji seeks assistance from an upper-year Class D student, asking questions from a previous midterm exam two years ago. He exchanges 10,000 points, later increasing to 15,000 points, including quizzes from the first term, with the help of Kyo. Ayana Koji insists that Kyo takes credit for obtaining the question papers while distributing them to the class. On the day of the test results announcement, everyone performs well except for Sudo, 
who falls short by a single point, as Sudo faces the threat of expulsion due to his exam failure, Ayana Koji follows their homeroom teacher and proposes purchasing test points for Sudo, recalling her statement that everything in the school can be obtained with points. The final price is set at 100,000 points to secure the additional mark for Sudo's passing grade. Suddenly, Suzun appears and offers to contribute half of the points. However, she reveals that no Class D has ever advanced to a higher tire in the school's history. The entire class celebrates in Ayana Koji's dorm room, and when questioned about how he managed to persuade the teacher, he swiftly shifts the credit to Suzun. Suzun becomes flustered and struggles to explain the situation to the others. Meanwhile, as Ayana Koji prepares to return Kyo's phone, he secretly follows her and discovers her deep-rooted hatred for Suzun. When Kyo's phone notification reveals Ayana Koji's presence, she threatens to accuse him of attempted rape, exposing her true personality. Ayana Koji promises not to disclose the information he has learned about Kyo, prompting her to instantly revert back to her previous public persona leaving others unaware of her hidden agenda. Honomi, the class representative from 1B, receives widespread praise for her assistance in improving test scores. She harbors a desire to eventually reach Class A in the rankings. Despite the eccentricity of the homeroom teacher, she appears to have a favorable opinion of everyone in Class B. While in the elevator, Ayana Koji recalls his unsettling encounter with Kyo's true personality the previous night, leaving him uncertain about her. He expresses surprise to Suzun upon seeing her with Kyo. Before entering the classroom, Ayana Koji and Kyo encounter Honomi, who inquires if they have received their points yet. It appears that there has been a delay in distributing points to the first-year students. Later, Honomi asks Ayana Koji to pretend to be her boyfriend so that she can avoid rejecting the person who left a love letter in her locker. However, when the girl arrives, Ayana Koji reveals the truth and advises Honomi to be honest with her feelings. Honomi subsequently apologizes to Ayana Koji, feeling indebted to him. The following day, the homeroom teacher, Sei Chabashira, explains that Class D's points will not be distributed unless they can address the complaint filed against Sudo. The complaint accuses Sudo of assaulting to basketball teammates and a student from Class C. However, the truth is the opposite, but without any witnesses to support Sudo's claims, the homeroom teacher is unable to take any action. If, within one week, Sudo fails to prove his innocence during a discussion involving Class C and the student council, there may be a forfeiture of points and disciplinary actions against Sudo. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the school, Ryan from Class C is seen partying with his friends. Suddenly, one of the individuals involved in the incident with Sudo interrupts and suggests that someone may have witnessed their actions. To make the situation more convincing, Ryuan instructs one of his associates to brutally assault the individual. Some students from Class D express frustration, believing that it would be better if Sudo were expelled from the school as they have to endure another month without any points. Yosuke invites everyone in the classroom to collaborate in search of witnesses and clues. However, despite their efforts, they are unable to find anything related to the incident. Unexpectedly, Honomi approaches them, suggesting that Class B might be able to assist them in the investigation. Ayana Koji immediately grows suspicious, believing they should not rely on other classes. However, Honomi claims to be returning the favor from the previous day. Honomi's friend, Konzaki, helped them post a notice about the incident on the message board, which attracted an anonymous email tip. The sender of the email demands payment for information about the incident involving Sudo. While making the payment, Ayana Koji notices the significant number of points in Honomi's account and wonders how she obtained them. Upon reaching his dorm room, Ayana Koji discovers Kyo, Sudo, and other classmates gathering there using it as their meeting place. Suddenly, Suzun calls his room, but upon noticing the presence of additional shoes, she decides to leave. Suzun reveals that there is a witness to the incident, a girl named Sakura from their own Class D. At night, Ayana Koji ponders why he knows so little about Suzun. 
After some time, Kyo knocks on his door, and they step outside to discuss the entire incident. Kyo intends to talk to Sakura about the incident personally, believing it would be better to speak with her alone. She leaves, unable to reveal more to Ayana Koji. The following day, Kyo approaches Sakura to discuss the incident involving Sudo, causing Sakura to panic and drop her camera. Unfortunately, the camera stops working after the fall, and Sakura flees, unwilling to become involved. Sakura, Ayana Koji, and Kyo decide to visit the electronics store to repair Sakura's camera. At first, Ayana Koji doesn't understand why he needs to accompany her, but upon arriving, he realizes that the clerk might pose a problem for Sakura. Sensing the clerk's questionable intentions, Ayana Koji takes the initiative to fill out the form on Sakura's behalf, aiming to make her feel more comfortable. While Kyo is temporarily absent, Sakura seizes the opportunity to seek Ayana Koji's opinion on what she should do regarding Sudo's case. He advises her to trust her own instincts and desires, encouraging her to testify if it aligns with her true intentions. Ayana Koji notices a lack of trust in Sakura's eyes when it comes to Kyo, and encourages her to eliminate any barriers and excuses that stand between her and the truth. Back in his dorm room, Kyo shows Ayana Koji pictures of an internet model who bears a striking resemblance to Sakura. Ayana Koji realizes that the person in the photos is Sakura, shedding light on why she is hesitant to testify for Sudo. Suddenly, Kyo receives a text from Sakura expressing her newfound desire to testify, leaving Kyo puzzled about her sudden change of heart. Suspicious of Ayana Koji's concealed knowledge, Kyo senses that he is withholding something based on his facial expression. Finally, the day of the hearing arrives, and even the Class D homeroom teacher is surprised to see the student council president attending such a case. Ayana Koji notices Suzun's fear and distress when she sees her brother in the room, as she had not anticipated his presence. The ruling favors Class C, as their injuries are more visible compared to Sudo's. Ayana Koji tries to motivate Suzun, who becomes detached from the proceedings. He reminds her that if she doesn't fight, they will lose the case against Class C. Suzun brings Sakura as a witness, but even her testimony alone is not sufficient evidence against the Class C students. The Class C homeroom teacher suggests a compromise, which Suzun rejects, firmly believing in Sudo's innocence. Manabu announces that since both sides present conflicting evidence, someone must substantiate their claims, or he will render his decision the following day at 4 o'clock which could lead to severe consequences, including expulsion. Later, Manabu encounters Ayana Koji and Sakura outside the room. He assumes that Ayana Koji had a strategy when entering the room with Suzun. Manabu accuses Sakura of lying, but Ayana Koji defends her, expressing his belief in her words. Manabu challenges Ayana Koji to provide evidence to support his claims, displaying an aggressive demeanor. The following day, Sakura is overcome with distress upon discovering a series of photographs in her mailbox, providing evidence of being stalked. Overwhelmed by fear and confusion, she collapses to the floor, tears streaming down her face. Meanwhile, Ayana Koji and Suzun uncover a crucial piece of information. The staircase where Sudo's incident took place lacks security cameras. After examining the area, Suzun develops a strategy that could potentially aid their investigation. Just as Sakura is about to speak up, Ayana Koji receives a text message from Kyo, signaling progress in their plan. They arrange a meeting with the three students from Class C involved in the incident. Additionally, they discreetly install cameras in the stairwell walls to intimidate the Class C students. Ayana Koji and Kyo explain that the student council is testing their ability to resolve the matter independently. The scheme proves effective, leading Ayana Koji to persuade the Class C students to retract their complaint, emphasizing the necessity of protecting both classes. While returning the borrowed dummy cameras to Honami, Ayana Koji is taken aback by an unexpected comment. Honami expresses surprise at someone like him being in Class D. At that moment, Ayana Koji receives a distressing phone call from Sakura, her voice filled with alarm. It turns out that the clerk from the electronics store, who had previously stalked her, is now attempting to sexually assault her. Ayana Koji swiftly intervenes, catching the man in the act with Honami's help, 
and securing the area with the assistance of the authorities. Meanwhile, Chabashira, the Class D homeroom teacher, confronts Suzun, seeking an explanation for how they managed to convince their adversaries to withdraw from the case. Suzun declines to disclose the details, prompting Chabashira to urge her to understand Ayana Koji as much as possible. Chabashira questions why someone like Ayana Koji, belonging to the rejected student's class, would assist them. These words spark Suzun's curiosity, although she refrains from responding. On the other hand, Manabu deduces that Ayana Koji is responsible for the Class C students retracting their claims. However, Ayana Koji insists that it was Suzun who achieved this outcome and refuses to accept the credit. Manabu then extends an offer to Ayana Koji, suggesting he join the student council as a secretary. However, Ayana Koji declines, desiring a normal student life. Unbeknownst to him, Suzun overhears their conversation without uttering a word. Meanwhile, the three Class C students face punishment from their leader, Ryuan, for withdrawing from the case without his knowledge. They endure another round of physical abuse, with Ryuan demanding they reveal the orchestrator of their withdrawal. Ryuan and his associates find themselves confronting the female leader of Class A. In a bold declaration, Ryuan asserts his intention to crush every class, including Class A, in his quest to become the sole ruler. While walking together in the rain, Suzun confronts Ayana Koji, questioning whether he manipulated her. Ayana Koji evades providing a clear answer, but Suzun persists. Ayana Koji experiences a childhood flashback, seemingly within an institution or research center alongside other children. The memory abruptly ends as one of the children collapses, leaving Ayana Koji captivated. Advising Suzun that he will assist her in reaching Klasa, he warns her against prying further into his personal life. 